Hi guys, it's Mike from Chicago German Shepherds at Chicago GSD on social media. In this video, we'll see footage of my seven-year-old German Shepherd dog giving birth for the first time. It was a bit of a troubled pregnancy. It was 36 hours long and there were originally five puppies in the womb, but three were stillborn. She was very aggressive to the puppies from the moment they were born. She uh, refused to breastfeed and didn't even produce bread smoke. Um, she basically just rejected the puppies altogether. She's a fantastic pet and protector, but obviously not a very good mom and she'll be retired. First, we'll take a look at the firstborn, which was stillborn, and then we'll get into the actual footage of the pregnancy. She was stillborn. She just came out just like this. And then we had to hurry up and take her right away because Ellie tried to eat her because she could sense that she was not alive. And uh, she had some poop coming out her butt. So, <laughs> see, it's a female. She did a good job of chewing off the uh, umbilical cord. The lips were really white and pink like that or whatever. Look at the paws. She was so beautiful. All black. Yeah, all black. Nice German Shepherd. It's really a shame. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we she's have in like, heaven. We have like four more coming, right? I would like to name one of them Mia. Can we name one of them Mia if we'll we see. keep we'll one? See you can do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you hold that because I might have to make sure that... Oh, it's coming. It's coming right now. It's coming. It's coming. Gotta get it. Make sure it's gonna stay alive. It's, all it's gurgling. Black. Oh, we gotta kill you! I heard it squeak. Yep. Okay. Good. Here, hold this. I just put this up there. So it's okay, honey. Good girl. You did good. You did so good. Oh, so cute. Oh, it's alive. Plug this in. Go plug this in. Oh, that's to keep it awake. No, it's the, it's I think. The, uh, stuff out. Yeah, so oh my goodness. Annabelle, wait, I have to get the recording on. So mm. awesome. Good girl. It's 3.50. Good girl, good girl. Daddy. Okay. Good girl, you did good. Good job, Ellie. So we got another puppy. The first one dead was at 10. 
something. No, it's twelve thirty-five when it okay, came Okay, then out. I thought it was ten, but okay. Um, Chris, this one is at what time? Oh. Okay. About two hours, three. She's alive, guys. You can't eat your puppies. Yeah, so I don't. <laughs> so this one's a black and tan. Oh, it's black and tan. Oh, it's seen. But she's real gurgly, though. I gotta get that out. She's really gurgly. What is gurgly? Like. Oh, See? Hear the gurgle? Mm -hmm. I can't. I have to record. No, no. I should have the camera. No, but I can't see on Skida. She's still suffering. This thing's not getting it out. So press it harder. Watch out. You can you can kind of go like that. No, I kind of the centrifugal force oh. gets it out. You know. Oh, I heard it. She's still really gurgly. So weak. She still sounds really gurgly though. Let's see if I can get this Wait, the umbilical cord? Yeah, cord I'm not worried about that right now. I'm worried about her being able to breathe. We got seven minutes to get her going. Just seven, seven minutes. Seven minutes. Seven minutes for what? To get her going. To get her going. Him. It's a boy. Oh, it's a boy? I didn't even look. He'll die. It's a boy, see? Right over here. So what do you have to He's do breathing. to get her going? Boys. Yeah, it's a boy. He's so cute. Oh, black and tan boy. What a cutie. He's so cutie. adorable. So, I mean. Oh, he's a weak. So cute. Oh, Where are we going to put them? Well, we can't keep her with the mom now because the mom is so trying to eat her. That's why that they bought the container thingy. That yeah, the problem is it. that uh, it needs a heating pad in there now. This is, I got, this is, I got the heating thing element set up for the whopping box, but it's not going to work for her. Because you, but if you take her out to eat your puppies. I mean, I could try to get her in there to try to suck on it. Don't do it. No, don't, don't do don't, it. Don't. If she tries to eat it once, then no. What if you take Ellie out? We can't take Ellie out. Why? They have to drink from their mama. No, but we have that. Coconut. Scissors? Uh, what? So I can cut the rest of the vocal cord because she didn't uh, finish the, chewing the, it. The um, Ew, surgical it's gonna ones? Hurt. It's going to hurt him. Yeah, the surgical ones. Okay, uh, it's going to uh, hurt him. Some yeah, but they don't, they don't feel it at this age. What, Dad? They don't really feel it at this age. He's doing good. He's wiggling around. I don't... He's not gurgling as much as he was. Good job, little guy. Oh. Good job, little guy. Oh my gosh, so cute. Good girl, Ellie. You did it. You got it. He's so cute. Don't eat it. Oh, so, yeah. Alright, well, I got one throw. One. And so. Here. Oh, so cute. Okay. So, we gotta put the muzzle on because she doesn't, she's not good around her uh, puppy. So, you hold this while I get uh, the puppy on there. And try to get the puppy to lash on. She's not friendly with her puppies, so. Oh, I think she's getting on her. Ellie? No. 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 Let her suckle. She's your baby. You gotta let her suckle. Oh. 
hold her back at the same time. I can't no. 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 She's got to suckle at your baby. You understand? <laughs> Stop. You stop. This is your baby. She's got <laughs> Stop. Okay, can somebody hold this uh, leash so she can't? Well, I need two hands to do this. Then Annabelle's going to have to hold the GoPro. Yeah, I think she's suckling on now. I just, uh... Where's the GoPro? So she's kind of latched on. I think she's suckling. Good girl, Ellie. That's being a good mom. No. No growl. That's your baby. She's got to do what she's doing. Take it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all right, honey. It's all right. It's all right. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. She gets rough with, with the rest. No. She really wants to. She tried to actually bite in the one that was still born. The first one she did try to eat. It's all right. Do you have no, no. Oh, we're getting the one to suckle. Get the muzzle on, so okay. Oh. You can sit, she can still bash. What if Kelly steps in it? Yeah, well, that's a that's a possibility. Oh, oh. oh. what happened? Is the puppy okay? Sit down, lay down. She's growling. Here, I can't. I'm off. Oh, I have the GoPro. Oh, Make sure she's here. Never mind. You need to let her feed. No, no, no. Ellie, you need to let her feed. You need to let her feed. Help me. Somebody take the thing? No, no, no. Take it. 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 Take Okay, that was not a good idea. Is he scared? Stop. Stop. He can't hear. They can't hear. Is he scared? No, he can't hear. Yeah, he's he can't hear. He can sense. He doesn't know milk. what's going on. No, he doesn't know what's going on. He just is looking for milk. This isn't the right collar for, for the correction that I need to do for this. I need to get the other collar on. So let's uh, um, let's pause this. 
Can you tell when that last when you see the tongue on the bottom wrapped around? Mm -hmm. okay, she's going oh. up, so careful. scale on. So we wait I make sure that it's on grams. And it's teared at zero, so it is. Okay, so now you can we weighed him first um when he was newborn. He was 522. He's 520, so. 510 now. Five they do ten. lose weight at, right in the beginning. He was wet, you know, when we first uh, did it. So um, the first day you expect him to go down maybe like and probably around like fifty grams or so. Okay. But I thought if it was about the same, we could tell if he had, was getting a lot of uh, milk. But maybe not. Emma's gonna feed the puppy. Let's get him attached to it. He opens. He knows what's in there now. He's opening up a little bit. Like this. There we go. He's on the whole bat. And, but don't see when you hear that, that means he's getting air. Don't let any air. You got to keep the level above here so that he doesn't get air. And make sure and watch his nose. See, his nose up, up against us. You can't really tell that well. But if milk comes out his nose, that means he's drinking too fast for him to keep up with. Okay, so we can like go and like this pop up. Yeah. There we go. So when you can see his tongue around the bottle like that, that means he's latched onto it good. He's doing good. Okay, go get the thing. Did it come it's on, on your the desk. I'll dry up his nose a little bit with the towel, just so that we know okay. when it gets wet again. That's good. We're good. He's pretty full now. Can you feel it in there? <laughs> we're still missing for him here. Oh yeah, I think he's full. He's pretty he's heavy. Oh, Let's weigh him now. Okay. Is that well? There you go, potato. 526. Five twenty four. Seven minutes now to get it up. Can you push any? Push, push. Since we're here, like that. Like, it's a puppy. <laughs> hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Honey. Don't do that. Honey. Oh, the puppy. Don't do that honey. The puppy's oh, headed out. Well. I 
Because we don't know. We can't check. We can't check. I really don't want a muzzle on her right now. Because she has to eat the everything. Yeah, but, you know, except for the puppy. Ah. So, well, out. the face is out. At least. <laughs> We only have seven minutes, okay. Keep pushing, keep pushing. It's breathing, it's alive. Oh, Can you push, honey? Push. Push, push more. Push. Keep pushing. Stand up. She should stand up. Stand up, honey. Stand up. Can you stand up? Push. Keep pushing. We gotta we get only it up. We have a few minutes. Not a few. We have like six more minutes by now. This is covering her eyes. It's in the vaginal canal. Mm. What do we do? Time's going on. Come on, keep pushing. We're trying to help her. Keep How can we help her? I'm going to try to stimulate her to contractions. Should I um, do the other one? Yeah. It's going on. Oh, oh, it's coming out a lot, you know. Okay. <laughs> this will help. Yeah, at least she's producing milk. Oh, it's almost out. I see its booty. I mean, its head, not its booty. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of um, helping her. It's okay, don't worry, I'm just helping you. Oh, so cute. It's okay, honey. Try to push more, push, push. Push, Ellie, push. We have to keep you pushing the babies in there. I'm gonna guess this one's a girl. It could possibly it's be a girl. It's kinda cheating if you already heard the voice, but it's hard to tell. Yeah. Okay, keep pushing, keep pushing. Let me kinda of help you a bit more. I'm not sure if this could pose this study. I think it is. Stand up. Keep pushing. Stand up. You have to keep you to push. Girl, push, push. I'm saying at least she knows what I'm talking about. Good girl, I think she's about to push. Okay, push stuff is coming out. Oh, keep pushing. It's okay, keep pushing. Go. It's okay, go, go. Okay. Don't lay down. We need you to stand up. <laughs> it's dry. It's dry. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm just holding mm. it mm. 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 Keep going, it's okay. Push, 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 push
خوش Just um, uh, hurry up and get this. I gotta hurry up and tend to the dog. So can you get that scissors that's on the thing? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to set the camera down. I'm gonna get this. The dog is limp, so I gotta. Hurry up okay, here. I got both. Just cut, just cut it down here, so it doesn't matter. Just cut it down there. There you go. Oh, that's fine. She's getting a bath after this, right? Okay, it's a girl or boy? Okay, the what thing? Oh, this. I don't think it's alive. Well, it was, and so... Mouth is white. Rub it. I'm going to, but first I gotta get it. Where's that bulb thing? It fell down. It, it fell. I don't know where it is. Okay. Ellie, can you move for a second? Okay. I'm going to try to go in. Don't give up. It's okay. The puppy has to be alive. I mean, it was just alive. Just alive. Oh, oh, it's moving. Oh, that was me moving. Oh, but I thought it moved its mouth. No. It was alive. So basically, what I've been doing is trying to do, you know, like a CPR thing. It's too close. Just go back up here. Up here. 
just make sure you get the whole thing in there. So you take this, and then I'm holding his mouth shut and holding one nostril shut. And now you see his belly. Here, I'll show you real good. See the belly going up? Okay. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do it again. I can feel it coming back out this way. So I'm pumping the air in. One, two, three, it might take four, a while, five, but if it, six. If it's worth it, then If you can get it within like seven minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six. But we've been at this for 10 minutes. So it's not going to work. I'm just. Right now, I'm just kind of just giving a tutorial on how to do it. So there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. But this one's been gone too long. It was already more than, it's not supposed to be more than seven minutes in the vaginal canal. And it was like 20 minutes. So, no more with this is gonna help. <laughs> All right, so it's uh, 10, it's 11.49. This is what, puppy number four, right? Yeah. It's an all black female. Um, and, uh, we have to pick her collar, but not yeah. right now because we're about to weigh we're, her. weigh her. Uh, this one, she, I was in the kitchen and uh, Emma went upstairs for a minute and she just dropped it on her own and she didn't have the muzzle on and she ate the placenta and was about to eat the baby when we went in there and we and I had a big fight with Ellie to try to get her away but I finally got her and uh, here she is right I, now I had to uh, you know uh, use the bubble thing whatever and then uh, yeah now we're just drying off we're gonna weigh her she's getting a little cold so I want to get her in the heat but let's weigh her first okay <laughs> make sure it's on grams okay just put her on the scale She's pretty small. She's like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, she's much smaller. Oh, don't let her fall. We put her in the middle, please. In the middle. <laughs> she's very wrong. Okay, and it's like 314, 374, 370? 370. 370. There we go. You can keep each other warm. Did you get her in the yeah? Right now, it's at about oh, she's pretty but small compared to her brother. Not under the thing. Oh, they're coming! Cute. Looks like we're gonna suckle on mom too. Okay. She's not grabbing on. I, mean, I keep trying um, to get her. How do you do with the last one? You gotta do it the same way. Get her mouth open, get it down there. She keeps letting go though. So here's a trick you can do. You put your finger in there and see if they suck on your finger. Yeah, she's starting to suck on my finger. Ellie, I don't even have to hold Ellie back right now, but I am ready if she does. You just yank up on that if she does. And when you stick your finger in there, it feels cold. So that means she needs warmth more than she needs that. So let's get her in the warmth. Come on, lay down. Lay down. Lay down. The back of your other puppy. Yeah. Sure can. German Shepherd. GSD. <laughs> this is your baby. Don't be upset. I'm going to be feeding. Don't no, get bro. mad. This is your baby. No. See, this is why we got to wash her. your baby and you need to let him settle. He's hard. Oh. Come on. He's your baby and you need to let him suckle. You're very strong. Okay. Yeah, open your mouth. And she was just uh, trying to yeah. Okay. Let go. Is it wet? Is there a little white dot? Uh,
Not all of this one, really. Let, let's check this one. Yeah. Let me move your foot and you can let your baby suckle on this one. Move! Okay, you are energetic. That is very good. Drink. Well, the only problem is she doesn't know it because she was surgery su surgically put the um, sperm in, so yeah, she but, doesn't you know, know. That happens more with C-sections. I mean, um, she saw the puppy come out of her own body. She just thought it was, she was making a snack. Well, look at that, I made a snack. <laughs> she's, you know, she, I think she's torn. She gets it and she doesn't get it. Like she, she did a great job eating the placenta first and all that. And she said when she, was, she just tried to eat. When she was puppy. done with the placenta, she tried to eat the puppies puppy. too. She thinks first she one I get because the first one was still born, so you know that makes sense that she tried to eat. Yeah. It. You know, that's why we were careful and we tested on the second one. She went up to the second one too. And the third one. And the, and the yeah. fourth one. Yeah. And we're about to get the fifth, maybe sixth. She's still on. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, little buddy. It's okay. We're trying to assign you a gender. His tail is so cute. He got a little patch on his tail. We'll leave that decision for him. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna be. What do you think he's gonna choose? Boy. I think he's gonna choose to be a boy, yeah, I think so. Let me check on you. Don't let us know when he's done. Don't try to kick your child off. She's not actually, which is pretty good. I mean her foot's right there off. She hasn't used more of her foot. She keep them right off. So she's okay with that. She just tries to eat them while he's it's like she's baiting no. Wait, what was she going to do though? Was she trying to eat it or sniff it? I don't know. But she gets rough with that thing anyway. Like she just tries to like bash it against them. It's like if she she realizes she can't, you know, bite him through it. So she just tries to like bash the body with it. It's just, she's just rough. She's being good. I'm not even holding the leash now. I dropped it. As soon as I said that, I gotta pick it up now. <laughs> She's in there. Wait, let her sniff it. Careful, you can sniff. Sniff. Good girl, good girl. Sniff some legs. Be good. good. So, I thought I'd give her a little treat for that. Because she, she went up to him and then she made a good decision. Like Johnny. He sometimes doesn't make good decisions, but he's working on it. So, let me try to teach. Well, if you make good decisions, you get uh, good consequences. You know, make bad decisions, you get bad consequences. Why are you trying to push him off? I don't know what she's doing. She's looking. looking. Good girl. Good girl. Looking is okay. Good girl. But don't try to bite. Oh, she's trying right now. I know you don't like your puppy on you, but. He's still latched. Oh, protective over food or? Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, biting. Biting. Oh, bite. You were biting. Biting your puppy. No, no, no. I think she's like torn. Like part of her wants to, you know, be a mommy, and part of her wants to like just, you know, destroy the new fuzzy toy that's in there. Box with her, you know what I mean? Like, an angel and a devil. Destroy. One on each shoulder. Destroy. <laughs> Don't be a mommy. Yeah. So we're going to try to feed this little girl. And, uh. Let's put this in there. Not like swallowing. She's really weak. I'm really afraid of this one. This girl. There we go. Swallow it down, honey. Wait, 
but she's trying to um drink. Yeah. So there's my mark. There we go. Right now. Now I'm gonna pinch her a little bit just to make see she's vocalizing, we can hear it, so that means it's probably in the right area. We're just gonna push a little bit. And she's still able to breathe, so we're good. We're giving it to her. I'm giving her 12 and a half cc's because based on the formula that you're supposed to use, that's how much she needs. And I'm giving it really slow because it's the first time she's had it. See, now she wants to swallow. But mm -hmm. before she didn't really. She's beautiful. She gets about a hundred and thirty for for the day. I know you can go faster than this. I'm going really slow, but you can go a lot faster. Some people just squirt her right in. I'm just being real careful because I know she's really weak and she's not hardy. And I just like Lamy over there. Yeah. He's very strong, but you see, she's not trying anymore. Like the. There we go. Now we can pull this out. That was a long way. Perfect. Yeah. Anyways, she's well, fine. We measured it good, so she's good. Now. Is she warm? Just, she's pretty warm. She's not cold. Mm. Uh, lift her tail up. <laughs> yeah, she's holding her tail down. So this like simulates the mom licking her. But I don't think this is going to make her go. This was the first time that she, you know, was fed, so there's really nothing to go through there yet. When you feed her, what you're doing is you're pushing out the old, the last meal, you know. It's not that meal doesn't go through her that fast. And she, this is her first meal, so. All right, this guy's really hearty. He's really good and healthy and active, and I'm really happy about it. I'm gonna get a wipe here. Uh, this is his second time feeding. He fed already, but uh, I'm just gonna stimulate some potty. Stimulate his butt here, so that uh, he goes potty. This he is, might not though. This is this simulating is uh, the mommy licking his butt. It's gonna hopefully help. He's going a little bit. He's going? Oh, oh good. Oh, she, he is. Good job. Good job, buddy. Good to go potty. You're not holding the tail up now. I can't get him in. He's licking me so much. You see, he's curling the tail down like that. You're not holding the tail straight up. I'm afraid I'm hurting him. You're not hurting him. Is he just being like that? Yeah. Okay, well, his tail is very curly. Ow! Sounds ow. like he's saying, ow, oh, ow, oh, but he's not. Good go potty. Good go potty. See, he's got a little bit on that. We didn't get much, but, you know, a little bit. Good for now. Okay, so I just also, I'm going to put the uh, this collar on, but I wanted to show everybody that, you know, we've got another heating pad on top. There's a heating pad below. This is just a, a case, you know, just some sort of like container like they got from, I don't know, Home Depot or Menards or something. But, um, hold this. Uh, I have a heating pad underneath the towel to keep them warm, but this one is really weak and small, and small, and I just... You know, nervous about her. She's very, she's cold. She's not coming up to temperature good. So I wanted to, she's gonna put this on. 
I wanted to make sure she had a little bit extra warmth, like an incubator. So I've got a heating pad on top as well. Yeah, this one is sleeping fine. If you can yeah, she's see. coming out from that, so you know he's going out from that because he's fine. He's real healthy and strong, so I'm not worried about him so much. This is her. Her she that came out that. when um, that I was eating. And you were messing around upstairs. I thought you were watching. I, I was and, uh, She almost got him. She almost. In the bathroom. She almost got to him. I went upstairs to play my Xbox, but I used the bathroom for and I heard some yelping and so no, no, she keeps turning this way. I don't know why she wants to turn this way. Her head must be cold. Maybe, I think maybe she thinks the heat's that way and she's trying to get closer to the heat. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let's get, just get you in there a little bit further. That way you'll be... The heat can be out because he can handle it, but I think she needs that warmth. Alright, so... Let's leave you for a little bit. They both ate. Uh, this one pooped for the first time and peed. This one didn't yet, but it was only this one's first time eating. It was this one's second time eating. So, All right? Okay, we're gonna attempt to get some Mother milk. colostrum, some breast milk from Ellie here. Sit, lay down, good girl. She's uh very vicious to her puppies even though she's not vicious she's really sweet but uh when i uh when i do this just to be safe i put the muzzle on her i mean i'm sure she's i don't even think she's gonna i think because i can mess around with her oh, what are you doing with that oh, oh. Okay, so it stays clean and sanitary so she's not gonna you know attack me for messing with her nipples or whatever but when the puppies do she definitely does so I, this is just a, a 20 milliliter syringe and I've just I, with an exacto knife I cut off the top and uh, if you want I'll make a video and show you how to make it there's all kinds of ways you don't have to use an exacto knife you can use a hacksaw and then you gotta make sure and sand this down but anyway what you do is you take this pull it out and then just flip it this way and now you got this nice flanged edge here that's not gonna hurt her so you squeeze it all the way down and then just, well, you can't squeeze all of it down. You gotta put it in a little bit. So you can put this on the nipple. What the? And you can put that, that on the nipple. Cool. And as long as you hold it flat and there's no hair in the way, as soon as you pull out, it'll create some suction. It should. You can check it, see if it's working on your own skin. It's definitely working. So maybe there's some hair getting in the way. By the way, you need to be ready to yank up on this if you have to if she gets mad at me. Okay? Because she could. She probably won't. She probably she won't, but you know, just in case. So there's things you can do is maybe wet around it. Uh, you could shave around it. She doesn't like me to shave her at all. Uh, I'm just going to try to hold this tight against her skin. We're getting a little suction there. As soon as she feels the suction, that's when she could, you know, try something. So just pay, pay attention. It's not creating good suction on her nipple. That's why mommy wasn't getting that much milk. Well, I think he was. I don't think she's producing. Enough. Okay, so now she, she that pulled a little bit. So I was thinking you could just. Get a little suction and then just leave the suction sort of automatically, but you kind of got to pump it. If you just pump it like this, it'll get going. I don't know how much we're going to gather that's going to be usable though. You don't want to have to go on and off and on and off. This is a pain. I'm not gonna do this all day for a couple of drops. Well, she only had five puppies, so she's probably not gonna make that much milk. Uh, so there, you know, a little bit came out, a drop. So 
So if you just had expressed milk so that she didn't get like, what is it, mastitis or whatever, you probably could do it this way. But I think if you're gonna try to get, I thought I could, you know, create suction, leave the suction, and then it would just, it would just fill up. And then I might have like that much in there and I could dump that in here and just do, you know, for each nipple. Maybe I'll try another one and see. Good girl. Try the back ones, they're pretty yeah, The back ones are the biggest, look, this one's big. So. It has been sucked on though. Yeah. See, she feels that. You see her breathing stop? Good girl, that's a good girl. So a little bit is coming out. But I thought I could just hold the, you know, pressure there. See, she's getting upset. She doesn't like that. She didn't like when the puppies were doing it. I'm sure she doesn't like when I'm doing it. She's just tolerating it because I'm the alpha. I had a teacher lesson about who's the alpha in one of the other videos. <laughs> All right, so, so we got like one drop. Out of all that, we got kind of one drop. So this isn't a way that's going to, you know, really, you have to push, you know, keep pushing this way while you're sucking this way. Good girl. That's a good girl. Her ears are big, they go forward, you got a problem. Are we going to put her away tonight? I don't know, I think maybe. There's no sense, she doesn't need to spend any time in the welcome box if she's not going to be welcome. I'd rather put, I'd rather put our little incubator box in here. But we have this in here and we don't know where to set this box. No, we can put it in here. Because then, when they're a little bit older, they can go from, transition from one to the other. Oh yeah. So you can pump it like this, if you just wanted to. You know, express the milk and you weren't worried about saving it. I'm not even producing out of this. Nipple. You know, they got manual ones. They got, I'm not spending a couple hundred bucks on an automatic one. I think they're like 36, 26 dollars. You know, those are manual ones. You guys here and go squeeze it like you squeeze oh. a spray bottle. You squeeze it for like 15 minutes on each nipple. For 15 minutes. And then she's got like eight nipples. Probably six. She's got eight. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because of the ones that are hidden. So, yeah, the ones up here didn't really even get big. I don't even think they'll produce anything. But on the other dog, they were pretty big and the back ones were pretty small. It's kind of different for each dog. Yeah, it's kind of different for each dog. So, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll try getting one of those just to see if, you know. Once, now, here's the thing. She hasn't given milk yet so you can start with this and then the next day you get a little bit more and the next day you get a little bit more until she builds up production because she hasn't really been you know making it so she's her body has been worried about making it so you know it goes you get more the more you do so I wouldn't necessarily let this like if you're thinking about it I wouldn't let, necessarily let, let this frustrate somebody from doing it there's a lot of people that use this method that have success with it I just you know, I'm not a real patient guy. Um, yeah. I'm the kind of guy who would like to just put an automatic one on there and let it sit and come back a half hour later and see what we got. But I just don't want to spend the 200 bucks for it because, you know, she's, it's not worth making her a good mother. producer when she's not a good mother. She's going to be retired. She's, she can't. She you know. is seven years old. Yeah, we tried. She's, she's good. I wanted to keep the line going. I was hoping to at least get one, you know, to, uh, Keep the line going, but uh, it doesn't look like Well, we have a female, so maybe we can. Maybe, can't. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how she turns out. As you can see, about 20 hours later, the last puppy finally came. Unfortunately, it was stillborn. And you can tell by the black tar like substance that it's coated in that it had been dead inside the womb for well over 10 days, uh, just like the first one. Now, we probably should have had some oxytocin on hand, but our vet would not prescribe any for us. So that's unfortunate, and we'll be looking for a new vet. But on a brighter note, we did get these two fantastic 
gorgeous and so cute little puppies. Well guys, I'll be posting updates of these two little puppies every few days in the beginning and then once a week when they get older. So like and subscribe if you'd like to follow along and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.